Cameras are crucial for many edge devices to enable numerous tasks, from eye tracking and hand gesture recognition to obstacle avoidance or feature tracking. While there are a variety of tasks desired to run on such edge devices, low power operation is crucial. For edge devices that have over a dozen cameras, there can be gigabytes of data flying from the camera to processor each second. This power consumption from just a data transmission alone can be quite taxing. So is there a way we can make the pipeline more efficient? This is the perfect place for Impixel Compute to come in for a few reasons. We are seeing impressive advances in 3D fabrication. With hybrid bonding and wafer level stacking, we are now seeing more devices that integrate compute closer to the sensor plane. Also, in many of these perception pipelines, CNNs or RNNs are often used to process the video data. Right at the start, sparse features are extracted and the rest of the information is thrown away. If we shift this to earlier in the pipeline, such as to the sensor plane, we can send out solely the useful sparse features. So in these edge devices that use camera data for vision tests, InPixel AI can be a perfect solution to decrease power. We can process pixel data right where it's acquired, and we can decide what information is actually meaningful. Since data transmission is very power hungry, in this work we seek to decrease the power by decreasing the bandwidth readout. We achieve this by adding just a bit of in-pixel compute to encode the useful spatial temporal features. In this work, we design and implement the first in-pixel recurrent neural network for sensor processors to enable bandwidth efficient perception on edge devices. We demonstrate that our spatial temporal encoding maintains high performance even at highly quantized settings, while significantly reducing sensor to processor communication with several tasks. And finally, we prototype Pixel RNN on the SCAMP5 vision sensor processor. Prior InPixel AI work showed implementations of InPixel CNNs for tasks such as MNIST classification to core segmentation. However, none thus far have utilized the temporal redundancies, so we build off of these works, but we also add in the temporal dimension. Our CNN is built off of Bose et al. CNN for on-sensor operation. Unlike traditional CNNs, the output is concatenated into this tile structure, and we perform a max pooling to reduce all the output features into a single 64 by 64 feature map. This gives a 16 x bandwidth reduction. Next, we design the RNNs. As a reminder, RNNs have a hidden state that gets updated every time step to encode the temporal information. Every 16 time steps, we read out our features. There are a few common RNNs, and we implemented their convolutional variants. While these performed well at full precision, in the highly quantized setting, there is a drop in performance. Why this matters is because sensor processors are limited in compute and memory, often making it a necessity to perform at binary or ternary settings. We design a general RNN formulation. In each time step, we calculate a forget gate based on the current input features and the hidden state in memory. W and U are convolutional kernels applied to the input and hidden state. Psi denotes a nonlinearity and B a bias. The forget gate tells us what information from the hidden state to update. We also calculate a candidate hidden state H tilde in a similar fashion. The hidden state H is then updated using the forget gate and the candidate state. O denotes the output or the features actually sent off sensor. This formulation is also able to encapsulate an approximation of a synchronous event camera by carefully setting a few parameters. We use this approximation as a baseline for the temporal-only encoding. To enable on-sensor implementation, we operate in the binary setting. In this case, general RNN simplifies to what we call pixel RNN. As we output just once every 16 time steps, this gives us an additional 16x bandwidth reduction. To train binary versions, we tested a number of techniques. We found binarizing to negative 1, 1 and utilizing the gradient of the 10H function with a temperature term worked the best. We perform our experiments on two tasks, dynamic hand gesture recognition and lip reading. In all models, a single fully connected layer off sensor follows for the classification task. We tested each RNN with both a single and two layer CNN. We tested both binary and full precision models and we plotted the performance accuracy. On the x-axis, we have the memory usage calculated as bytes per pixel, which is the limiting factor for in-pixel processors. At full precision, all RNNs perform well. However, at quantized settings, pixel RNN is able to maintain the performance the best. In binary settings, more complex RNNs like the LSTM exhibit more information loss through its many gates. To prototype, we utilize the SCAMP5 vision sensor that is paving the way for sensor processors. It integrates a SIMD array into the pixels of the image sensor, allowing us to prototype our encoder. Each pixel has some memory, an ALU, and the ability to communicate with its four neighboring pixels. For details of the implementation, please see our paper and supplement. As computations are done in analog on sensor, we found adding noise to the model training and simulation significantly improved the on sensor performance. Our work generalizes to future sensor processors and larger tasks. As 3D fabrication continues to develop, we will undoubtedly see more in pixel compute devices emerge. Our work is just one way we can utilize emerging sensors to create more efficient imaging and perception pipelines. Thank you so much. Please check out our poster and website.